Now that, moments rest of the week and this time I'm going to be testing one of these uh, Turnergy D2826 2000 kV motors um, yeah, I bought one of these a few, well more than a few weeks ago actually, a couple of months ago I think um, and yeah they were in stock in the UK warehouse um, but it looks like they are out of stock everywhere they were on back order unfortunately um, but I'm sure they get some in um, I think there was a version of these available on Banggood uh, but they don't do it anymore so because that's a search for a 2000 kV brushless motor and it just has three results and none of them are the motor I'm looking for so it's just on Hobby King and it's rated as a turnage one but I think it's a generic motor but I don't know they seem to have a pretty good reputation a um, bit lower KV than your normal 28 26 2200 KV or 22 12 the basic uh, Chinese ones but they're still that sort of size it comes with this style mount it's the type that screw into the end of the bell which is pretty good um, but I don't think it comes with an X mount I can't remember if I'd if I had taken it out previously or not in the box but when I looked in the box there wasn't one in there so I can't remember if it has one or not um, let's go now and look at the specs right um, it says it's good for 2 to 4 S um, output of 300 watts well, it says 300 watts there but if you look at the top it says 330 watts there so don't know what you want to uh, say actually I've got the instructions in front of me here and it says 330 watts in the instructions so it's a uh, was it a pole, 14 pole uh, motor and 12 stator slots so yeah and it's got what well, a maximum of 25 amps uh, it says suggested props is a 7045 I don't have a 7045 uh, I have a 7035 and a 7x5 APC but uh, so we have to try those and see how they work uh, the motor weighs 51 grams, it's about the same as your normal 28-26 size or 22-12 and yeah I think that's about it, I shall um, get it on the thrust stand and give it a go see what sort of um, performance this motor has I mean it's pretty good price, only £7 uh, what would that be, about $9 I think, something like that so yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. It's uh, all set up. I've got it in there. It's quite a nice looking motor actually. Uh, yeah, got good uh, labelling on it. It's pretty good. And the first prop I'm going to try is your normal APC 6x4 electric prop. And I'm trying it on a Multistar 2200 milliamp. 40C 3 cell and using my normal turn GAE 65 amp ESC. I could probably use a smaller one, but it was already on the thrust stand, so I'm just going to use that one. Right, so let's see what 6 inches props do on 3S with this motor. So if this can run 25 amps on 4 cell, that's going to be over 330 watts. 
but uh, I shall be checking the temperature and see how they go. It's stone cold at the moment, obviously. So, right, let's try another prop. Okay, this is the comparison. This is the APC 6x4 gas prop. So, they're a bit different, meant for petrol engines. But as you'll see here, they seem to perform a bit better. So, still on 3S. Let's see what it does. Pretty good. <laughs> Two amps less. But it gave quite a hundred gram about a hundred grams more thrust something like that. Pretty good. Alright, let's try another prop. Okay, this is a gem fan sixty forty five and it's on three S. These are the just the uh, orange plastic ones. The uh, cheaper plastic version. So let's see how this does on three S. There. I mean, only 21.3 amps. That's pretty good. Let's try another one. Okay, this is a, another Gem Fan 6045, but these are the carbon reinforced nylon props these are way more heavy duty these are ridiculously stiff and strong and I'm going to test it again on 3 cell on 3S let's see what we get here grams more thrust there than the plastic ones bit difficult to tell the difference really oh it was 0 0.2 of an amp this kind of more well not quite 0.2 0.15 I'd say <laughs> It's still dead cold. And it's drawing hardly any amps. So let's see what else we got. Okay, this is a TGS 6x4 sports prop, also known as KMP on uh, Banggood. Alright, on 3S, let's see what this one does. <coughs> Twenty amps there. So it's actually drawn the least amount of amps. <laughs> Amazingly. There was another one less, I can't remember. Alright. So what else we got to try? Okay, this is the uh, Hobby King 7035 prop, um, but these are very bendy, so uh, can't put too much power through them. But see how they go. I mean, they're quite nice. Um, you get a pack of them really cheap on Hobby King. Um, they're not a bad prop, but. They are a bit bendy, so they don't like too much power. Let's uh, see how they go on 3S. Let's <laughs> so 
so actually got more thrust there on a six inch prop <laughs> Still only 21 amps though. Who would have thought that would have um, given a lot more thrust because it's not straining the motor. So, hmm. Well, let's try another prop. Okay, this should uh, test this motor a bit more. Um, this is an APC 7x5 electric prop. Um, but it's a reverse rotation one, so I've just had to swap the wires around quick so it spins the other way. But um, let's see how this does on 3S. thing probably didn't do it like that so it still works yep hmm. let's uh, try and get in here Give that a longer burst, see how long it takes to heat up. Two forty three degrees it got then. So it did get warm, but it didn't get it's not like it's ridiculously warm. Yeah. This motor might be able to take a bit more power than you think. Right, so speaking of which, let's uh stick a four cell on it, see what it does. Okay, right, I'm starting off the four cell test. Uh, I'm going to be using a Gemfan 5045 ball nose prop. It's the ones with a slightly curved edge to the tips of the prop. And the four cell I'm using is, just because it happened to be there pretty much charged, is a Hyperion 2200mAh 35C four cell. So, let's give this a try on 4-cell. Not bad. Better do these tests quick. It's uh, just gone four, uh, 10 o'clock at night. I'm sure the neighbours won't be appreciating this. This one a bit late. What we got? Why me? What's that all? Eighteen oh, of hemp's. Two hundred and two watts. Why me? Let's uh, step it up a bit. Okay, this is a diatone fifty forty five ball nose prop. So uh, 
let's see what the difference this makes on the four cell blimey <laughs> that was pretty good That's 25.9, 406 watts. 29 degrees. So handle that no problem. So let's try some of those six inch props again. Okay, this is the APC 6x4 gas prop. So, uh, not going to bother trying the electric. Um, I'll just try the gas one on 4S. Let's Seven hemps. One hundred seventy watts. Blimey. Good temperature thing. It's only sort of twenty nine, thirty degrees. Hmm. That doesn't feel warm at all. <laughs> Alright, let's try another prop. Okay, this is the Gemfan 6045 carbon reinforced nylon prop. Um, pretty much similar results with the plastic one, so I won't bother trying the plastic one. Uh, this is on 4S, so let's see what we get here. Motor still isn't even warm. Still only 30, 30 degrees on the windings. This has got to be one of the most efficient motors I've ever tested. This is this is crazy. Yeah. What's reflecting? You can't really too much reflection on it. It's too too shiny. It's too bling bling. Can't see it. But that's really good. I think I'll uh, I'll just quickly stick a three bladed prop on there. See what happens. Right. Uh, I didn't bother topping the battery up, but I thought I'd just whack this on quick. See what happens. Uh, this is a Dow Prop 5045 Cyclone 3 bladed prop. So uh, it's on 4S. So I thought it would be a good comparison to some of these quad motors. See what happens. Twenty-three amps, though. What was that three hundred and sixty? Three hundred sixty-seven watts on the nose. 
So that's pretty damn good, that. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got anything sort of in between a 6 and a 7 inch prop to uh, try and push more power for it. <laughs> I'm tempted to uh, whack a 5 cell on there. <laughs> See what it does. But um, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I might save that for another day. But that's uh, this motor test of the week. And uh, yeah, very in, uh, impressed with that Turner G2826. Um, similar to the other what, like 2212s, 2200. Um, but yeah, same size as the Turner G2826, uh, 2200 as well. Uh, but this one seems to be a bit more efficient. Um, it's putting out similar sort of thrust. It is a little bit less thrust, but it's certainly drawing uh, a lot less current. So, um, kind of got a bit more of a payoff with uh, less current. But, yeah, very impressed with that motor. So, um, shame they're uh, out of stock at the moment. <laughs> and also Banggood have stopped doing the um, the unbranded version of that motor um, I'm sure if you have a look you might be able to find them somewhere else if you just put 28, 26 20, uh, 2000 kV motor in Google or something um, you might be able to find a different version of it somewhere else but anyway so uh, that's the end of this uh, test yeah, if you like this video please give us a like and subscribe see more motor tests and uh, I'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye bye